TV down here watching a uh, rhythm and flow my show. Um, yeah, so anyway, hi YouTube, it's your girl, the awesome trucker. I am back for one of my rare, rare, rare ones in a million video. Um, I stopped doing YouTube, I stopped doing YouTube for a lot of reasons. Um, you know, um, just doing this on op stuff, getting my authority. You know, trying to get drivers. Um, you know, just doing my own little thing. And so I just, I just distanced myself from the YouTube world. I just um, got tired of the drama. <laughs> it was so much drama on YouTube, and it, it it didn't have anything to do with me. But I don't like drama. Uh, from any type of venture because anybody who knows me knows that I'm not with the bullshit so with that being done and said I want to give a shout out to keeping it 100 trucking I, I, hey girl well I think she changed it to keeping it 100 is it experiences oh um, I hope I'm getting it right pinky but anyway I seen your comment the other day about me coming back and I said I'm gonna do this video specifically and only for you girl because I still watch you <laughs> I know you're home with your babies you know you're doing a local thing and I just I still watch you I still watch you too but I just lay off because you know you guys I, I be so into it with truckers feeding the homeless I be so into it with my business with just trying to get everything situated off the ground started for me um and like I just got so much going on that I just said today since I'm sitting there waiting on my load um I'll go ahead and um um hey you know <laughs> make a video for you all uh, so I know y'all see this back here um I actually switched up the cooking game so I don't have my burner anymore nor nor do I have my pots and pans but I do have an instant pot and when I tell y'all, I've been I've been doing like fancy smashy meals in this Instant Pot. I got all my little stuff in here, so never mind that. But this is my Instant Pot, my Instant Pot right here. You guys, this Instant Pot has done me justice on this truck, okay? I love this Instant Pot. I love it, I love it, I love it. So we're gonna be cooking with the Instant Pot today. I'm gonna actually make um homemade chicken noodle soup i have been craving 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 chicken noodle soup for the longest and um oh i'm sorry guys i think i, I think i got some in my eye i just got some new contacts and um i think i'm just trying to get adjusted to them <laughs> sorry but anyway so y'all wanted to make some homemade chicken noodle soup and like I said, you guys, I've been craving it and craving it. It's getting cold. It's starting to snow. It's snowing in Texas, baby. Okay. So the snow is coming. Winter is here. I'm ready for it. So with that being said, you guys, I got my setup going. Um, I broke my tripod in the process of trying to set up for this video. So I'm using my smaller tripod, which I'm going to have to get back on Amazon and order me a new one. But anywho, I'm going to have to work with what I got, baby, okay? Because that's what AT does. I work with what I got, okay? You got to use what you got to get what you want. But anyway, <laughs> so enough for chit chat, all of that good stuff, mumbo jumbo. Um, I wish I had a setup to where you all were able to fully see, like, my table like y'all used to do in my old video, um, in my old videos I used to make. You know what? Give me a second and I will be right back. I'm going to try something here to see if you all can see what I'm fully doing here. All right, everyone. So I'm back. I got halfway situated to where I think I got a good angle. I don't I don't know if my uh, TV is too, too loud. I'm sorry about that. But anywho, so this is what I wanted to do. 
Uh, sorry, y'all was munching on some crackers. <laughs> anyway, um, so I got everything set up here um, as far as what I'm going to do with the chicken noodle soup. So, first things first, um, I popped at Kroger's and got me a pack of extra wide egg noodles. Um, I like these noodles, like, and like everything. I don't know why I do, I just do it. But I got a pack of extra wide noodles. I got five bottles of water. I'm gonna use a couple, not really sure I'm gonna do the rest. We're, we're just gonna go with the flow. Um, I got chicken broth, Swanson, because that's what I grew up on, Swanson. But anyway, <laughs> I got a bag of carrots I'm going to cut up. I have um, celery stock, so I got the celery right here. And also, I'm going to just sit here right there, I got chicken breast. Now... Where I'm from, I don't like using a boneless, skinless chicken breast because it ain't no fat on the chicken. Now, I, I'm from the South, baby, so we cook with fat in our food. That's just what we do. So what I did was, I got the split chicken breast with the bones and the skin. Due to the fact it got the skin, it got a little fat under the skin. So when you're boiling the chicken for the uh, chicken noodle soup, It'll have flavor. You have that bone. We got everything in there. So we got we got everything we need. So we're gonna have to flavor this. You know, the chicken has already got a little soul in it, baby. The chicken got a little soul in it already. So with that being said, it's easier to cook with the chicken with the bone in and the skin on rather than boneless skinless. Just, I mean, if you wanna do it a healthier way, boneless skinless chicken breast, by all means, go for it. But baby, I'm from the South, so this is what we cook with right here. So I got the guy at the grocery store to split the chicken breast up for me. So um, he wrapped it up and called it a day. So that's exactly what I'm gonna use when I get ready to boil the chicken. And now I'm getting to the seasonings here. I'm gonna set this back over here for a second. I wanted to use olive oil, but I said, nah, I'm gonna just hold off on the olive oil. And I'm gonna use butter, real butter, B U T T E R, butter. Okay, I got butter, not margarine, but butter. Margarine sets a little different when you cook with it. So get the real butter, Lando Lakes, if you want to. If you want to get the cheap kind, get whatever you can afford. But I use, I don't use a whole stick of butter, but I am gonna use butter in there so my noodles don't stick together when I boil uh, the water and every. You know what I'm trying to say. But anywho, um, I got parsley. Um, yeah, I got a jar of parsley right here. Of course, black pepper. Um, I got garlic powder. I have basil leaves. I have rosemary leaves. I have thyme. You guys, thyme is a real good herb to use in soups, porridges, whatever you want to call them. I really like using thyme because it it has like a very distinct taste, but it's not overbearing when you put it in certain foods. It's, it, it's, it gives it flavor, but you know, with the with a little spunk to it. Um, also, I have oregano leaves. I do have mixed garlic. I have a little jar of mixed garlic. Um, I'm still debating if I want to use the bamboo shelf. Asian cuisine seasoning. Y'all, this is my go-to seasoning. Not all Walmarts carry this particular seasoning, but it is sold at Walmart. That's where I do purchase most of my items. Um, this is like my favorite seasoning. It goes good on everything. So I'm really, I'm still debating on using this. So I still, I bought it out just in case. And also I have the Weilers, the chicken's herbs, the chicken herb spices, and a little cubes. Y'all can see them. They're in cubes. I'm going to drop a couple of these in the water with the chicken. So we're going to see. You know, we're going to make some shake back. We're going to make some shake. We're going to make it do what it do. So anyway, you guys, what I'm about to do is go ahead and um, cut up the celery, cut up the carrots, and clean the chicken. 
and finish my episode of Rhythm and Flow, and I will be right back with you guys. So stay tuned. So I'm back. I got out my handy dandy and Mark Q and Mark Who uh, <laughs> and Mark Who knife. Uh, new house trucking gifted me because you know I like to be chefing it up. So you know I pulled out a. Uh, I pulled out about four carrots, you guys. I'm going to just slice and dice, slice and dice. Um, I'm going to throw them carrots in this soup, okay? Because I'm a vegetable person. I like vegetables. Um, so I just feel like it's necessary to, you know, when you're doing a soup, especially chicken noodle soup, and you want to put vegetables in there, go all out. Go all out, baby, okay? Because at the end of the day, it is what it is. So, like, what I like to do, I just cut the tips off the, uh, I cut the tips off the carrots. I'm funny like that, but I like to eat carrots myself. So, you guys, I'm going to finish slicing the dice in these, and I will be right back. All right, you guys, so I'm back. Got the chicken. All right, you guys, so I got the chicken right here. Got it ready to go. Got it clean. Wash and you know, you know, got the little paper towel out here, you know, you know, catch a little drip dry, a little drip dry. So, you know, I just want to explain to most people who, you know, when, when, when cooking this chicken noodle soup, let me tell you, this is the chicken breast. And all he did yesterday, the grocery, um, got the grocery store in the meat department, all he did was take the chicken breast, the whole chicken basically, and he split it in half. So I still have the bone in. As well as, like I said, you guys, still, I got the skin. So, this right here is going to bring a lot of flavor within itself because I'm going to just do a prime example here. If you look under the skin, you'll still see a lining of fat. That fat right there will flavor the water, people. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you something. I'm trying to tell you something. So, what I'm going to do is this. I'm not going to put too many seasonings on here. I do got my carrots and my celery washed out, so I just got them sitting in there for now. But I'm only gonna put just a few seasonings on here. Not like I said, I'm not gonna do too much. Um, due to the fact I'm gonna put them in the water and I'm gonna add some cubes in there. So I did the uh, bamboo chef, the Asian seasoning. It's right here. Uh, like I said, you can get it at Walmart. And I'm just doing a little black pepper. I'm keeping it simple with the chicken people because, like I said, when I put the cubes in and add my other fair share of spices, it's, it's going to really, really tenderize everything and it's really going to be flavorful, okay? All right, I don't do this too often, y'all, but it's that time of the year, you know. I'm with the chicken noodle soups and stuff. So, you know, just season the other side pretty much the same and then let that be it so what I'm about to do is go ahead and grab my instant pot over here and I'm gonna set up and I'm gonna put my camera at a different angle so I can show y'all how I actually work the instant pot what the functions are for for some of y'all that don't have the instant pot but for some of y'all that do and you know how to use it then you already know to follow the girl. So, with that being said, guys, let me go ahead and set up with the instant pots, and I will be right back. I'm gonna just cover that chicken right now for the time being, and yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and get set up here, and I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So I'm back. I'm half angled right now, so I have to set my um, tripod up my smaller one facing this way so you guys can see 
exactly what I'm doing. Sorry for the added background noise. I got my um, spices sitting up over here. But uh, what I'm going to do is show you guys with this. Um, damn, I got a lot of shit. With this instant pot, what I'm gonna go ahead and do. Okay, so you guys, for those who know how to operate an instant pot, you already know the functions. I have soup or broth, a meter stew, bean, chili, poultry. You can slow cook, you can saute um, your pressure levels, you got your delay starts, you can cancel. Um, whenever you start your timer up, you can, you, you can just simply keep the food warm, set your timer for 10 minutes, and it won't cook your food. It will just definitely keep it warm. You can fix yogurt in here, which I ain't tried that yet. Um, so the beeping starts, that means the timer's about to start warming up in here. I just did that for an example, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel that, which turns it off. I can steam vegetables in here you can do porridge uh multi-grain items you can do rice and so forth and so forth and so um i'm gonna go ahead and put most of the ingredients in here now um well not right now i'm sorry i'm jumping ahead of myself um i actually ran out of olive oil so for the time being i'm gonna have to use butter because i thought i had olive oil until uh, when I went grocery shopping to come back and put all my groceries up and seeing that I was out of olive oil. So, normally I do olive oil and butter, but right now I'm going to measure this at, let me see, two, three. I'm going to do three tablespoons of butter right now. And I'm going to pretty much just go off of what I actually need or use. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the butter in there and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it on saute, saute mode. Um, I'm going to saute it for about, I want to say 10 minutes. I'm going to do 12 just to, just to give it an extra couple of minutes to warm up in here. So with the heat levels right here, you got less, you got normal, you got more. So, with the beeping, it's telling me it's on, which means it's heating up. And once it gets done heating up, the timer will actually start. Or, in a sense, okay, it'll go off when it's finished, when the 12 minutes is done. So, right now, I got it on more heat, which is the hottest. And I got butter under my nails. It's okay. Um, grab some paper towel here. So, um... What I'm going to do is I'm going to let that butter melt real quick. And I'm going to go ahead and put my celery and my carrots in. And I'm going to saute them for a few minutes. Now, I could have put onion in my soup. But I don't too much care to have onions in my soup. So, I omitted an onion. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and grab my freshly washed... Um, veggies here. I love carrots. Carrots are my favorite. I know this bag was leaking, so. Let me see here. So, Just it back here. Okay, so you guys, as y'all can see here, I'm gonna bring the camera a little closer here. So you guys, you see that the butter is moving. I said moving. Sorry, <laughs> the butter is melting. So I'm gonna just move it around and let it coat the bottom of the pan. If y'all can see that here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's the good stuff, people. That's the good stuff. I got all my stuff sitting over there right now. But anywho, 
back to the regular scheduled program. So I see the I see the butter sizzling up right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop the vegetables in here. And I promise you guys, I'm about a new tripod as soon as possible because I like my other one that's set up high enough for you all to see exactly what I'm doing. Um, you know what? Hold on, you guys. Let me see if I can move this at a different angle so you all can see exactly how I'm cooking this. Hold on just a second. All right, you guys. So this is about the highest I can set my camera up. Um... Like I said, as soon as I get me another one, I'm going to be on and popping. But for now, y'all just going to have to work with me. So, currently, I just got the um, celery as well as the carrot sauteing in here. So, I can go ahead and show you guys exactly. what I'm doing in here so I'm gonna leave it on a saute mode for a while and I'm gonna just let these cook let these soften up just a little bit you know you know you know you know make it do what it do you know sorry for the excessive camera moving I was trying to set my camera back up to where I just had it <laughs> sorry you guys technical difficulties here so anyway here you guys I'm gonna let this cook right here and once it's done I'll be right back and show you guys the next step okay you guys so I'm back and I got the machine right here it's beeping at me that it's ended so right now I'm gonna go ahead and just cancel that setting all right so my vegetables are pretty much done sauteing here as you guys can see Got the vegetables. Y'all, they smelling good. It's smelling good. Yes. <laughs> well, anyway, you guys. Um, hold on. Let me set this camera back up here. I'm um, trying to improvise, improvise with this thing over here. But anyway, so now that I got this done right here, all right, and I got the setting off right now. So I just want to explain to you guys what I'm gonna do right now. All right, so I don't have any salt because apparently I'm out of seasonings. More seasonings than I realized. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just set that one to the side right there. And I'm going to add in some black pepper. You know, put a little pep on it, put a little pep on it. You know me, you know me, you know me. I'm going to do some basil. I bet y'all like, what the hell this girl seasoning the, the the vegetables okay threw some basil in there smelling uh, delicious and also I'm gonna throw some oregano in here too okay okay no no I'm trying to be baby chef emerald in this joint throw that in now mm, bam okay so now I got some three in there oh shit I'm knocking over everything in here all right, so as y'all can see, it's still smoking, still sizzling, and I love it. I love it. So, I forgot my measuring cups. Um, I forgot my measuring cups at home because I remember I took my dishes out when I was at home yesterday. I my mom my mom washed them for me, but I forgot to grab them before I left the house. So I'm gonna have to go off just measurements on my own right now so anyway um i'm trying to remember how this go hold on you guys okay all right three cups of water four cups of chicken broth so uh what i did was these 16 ounce bottles right here two of these right here equals four cups so i actually need just one and a half of these for three cups and I'm gonna need two of these right here that equaled out the four cups of chicken broth. So I'm gonna have to pour the broth in here to measure it. So I took my little gold marker and I marked the water bottle so I knew exactly where to fill it to. You know, I'm gonna have to make it do what it do, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna have to improvise. So 
So what I'm gonna do right now, while the machine is still off, I'm gonna go ahead and add the water. Okay, I got one in there. I'm gonna do half of this. That's, yeah, that's about half right there. Maybe a little bit more, but you know. So, I'm gonna shake this up. I always wanna shake your broth up before you use it. Okay. So, I'm gonna have to have hands, you know, precision. I'm gonna have to crack my knuckles for this. Okay, okay, you know. I done poured some liquor in my days, but you know, my party days over with. <laughs> Let me turn it around, make sure I keep it at that line and keep it measured. So as I pour this in here, I know this is crazy, y'all, but I got to make it do what it do. So I try to keep a steady hand um, because my wonderful grandparents, uh, I come from a family full of bootleggers, so I've been pouring alcohol since before I could tie a shoe. So I got it up to the line right here. So this right here is two cups. So I will pour this in here. And I'm gonna do it again. Uh, I hope I do have enough. If not, I would just have to compensate with just a little bit more water, which I don't think I'm gonna have enough in here because I've used this already. Whew. Okay, you guys, so I'm out of chicken broth. So what I'm gonna do is, I, I got it right here and it needs to be right here. So I'm gonna just use the remaining amount of this water and call it a day, okay? It's all right, you guys. Sometimes you run a little low. It's all right. So I'm going to put this in here. And I'm going to go ahead and use just the rest of this water. Because it's going to end up cooking down anyway. By the time I put the chicken and stuff in here. Okay. So now I got the seasonings and everything in here, all right? So, I am going to go ahead and put the chicken in. Now I'm doing all of this with the Instant Pot off, so I don't, you know, cook things out of order in a sense, if that makes any sense to anybody. I don't cook too many items out of order. <laughs> it just works for me. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is this right here. Now, I'm not gonna take the skin off right now. I'm gonna go ahead and let it cook with it. And then when this chicken is done, I'm gonna take the skin off and I'm gonna shred the chicken. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook with everything on here right now. That's just me, that's my preference. You don't have to do what I do, but this is just how I do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and yes, this is raw chicken. You guys, this is a pressure cooker. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the chicken here. Let me see here. You guys see that chicken? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So one, two, and three. So now I put three pieces of chicken in there. All right, you guys. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add two of these uh, cubes in here. I love these things right here. Um, they're kind of hard to find at Walmart, but most of the time they are on the aisle with the salad dressing. Um, where you find the Italian seasoning, the ranch seasonings to make the ranch dressing. These are typically on that aisle um, on the top shelf. If not, you will find them on the chicken broth aisle on the top shelf. So if you ever go looking for these at Walmart and you can't find them, just know they keep them on one of those two aisles on the top shelf. So this right here is my favorite go-to brand. I've been using this for a long time now, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the two cubes in here. Fuck it, I'm gonna do three. I'm gonna do three because I'm me, baby. <laughs> 
So I'm gonna go ahead and if I can work with my long Corella DeVille nails here. Hold on, you guys. No, no, you know, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We, we, we working here, we working. So I'm gonna throw three little cubes in there. I didn't think about trying to cook with these long pointy nails, but I'm about to make it happen, baby. So anyway, while I'm doing this here, I just want to give a shout out to all the people in the YouTube community that I've kept in contact with through my hiatus, in a sense, through my uh, non-YouTube years. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to the fun Miss Pearl. Hey, Miss Pearl, I love you, girl. I'm giving you a hug all the way from Tennessee, baby. I want to give a shout out to Beauty and the Beast. I got to meet them in person when we did the Truckers Free the Homeless in Dallas. And all oh, they are wonderful people, you guys. Beauty and Beast, they are just, they are wonderful people. You hear me? Wonderful, wonderful people. Uh, I'm going to put a tad bit more pep in there. You know, y'all me, y'all know me. I like a little kick in my life. So, and what I'm going to do here with this garlic is I'm going to add just a spoonful of garlic. Not much. This is me, my personal preference. I'm going to add about this much garlic in here. And I'm going to just let all of that pressure cook, y'all. So now, uh, I'm not going to add the noodles now. It's not time to add the noodles in. So now that I got everything in here, this is how it's looking right now. The chicken brought the water. Everything is just sitting in here right now. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is this. Put my lid on, if y'all can see that. It's going to beep like that. You take it off, it's going to beep. It's supposed to beep. There we go. So, I put it on and I locked it. This is to unlock it. Take it off. It's to put it on and to lock it. Now, you got your steam valve back here. So, the venting... If y'all can see that little writing right here, it says venting. Now, this right here is to uh, let the steam out. And if you have it turned here, all the steam is going to just come out automatically. Um, I have the ceiling here also. So, you want to turn it to ceiling position where it locks in all the moisture. So, now that I got the, the lid in here and I got it locked in. Sorry, guys. I got to make do with my position of the camera so what I'm gonna do now is make sure I get it in there all right so now I'm gonna do pressure cook now I want to pressure cook this on high high pressure so I'm gonna do pressure cook and it's already set the high pressure and I got it to more heat I got it set to 12 minutes it's all right. I'm going to keep it there. So right now, and right now in the own position, the Instant Pot is warming up. So it's going to beep again when it's actually warm and it's ready to do the pressure cook. So right now I'm just going to let it warm up. And I'm going to let it cook for those 12 minutes. Uh, which in those 12 minutes, the chicken will be done. And I will take it out and show you guys so you all can see. So those of... People though, people that are skeptical of using the Instant Pot, you, you can't cut chicken in 10 minutes in a pressure cooker, you can't. So it's locking in all the moisture, keeping in all the heat, it's gonna cook everything at one time. So you guys, while this is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up, straighten up, and I will be right back with you guys. All right, everybody, I'm back. So now, and the pressure cooker has cooked the food for 10 minutes. Now right here, it has to add a letter L and then all these zeros. Right now, it's on the keep warm stage. So your food is done cooking, your food is done pressurizing. I'm gonna let it sit in here another 10 minutes due to the fact I put the cubes, I put all them spices in, and I really want everything to marinate into the chicken. So as you can see, it's starting to count upward now. 
So it's, it's standing for one minute so far. I'm gonna let it stand for nine more minutes, 10 minutes total. And then I'm gonna release the pressure up here and I'm gonna take the lid off, I'm gonna take the chicken out, I'm gonna take the skin off, I'm gonna shred it. Uh, in the meantime, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna put the noodles in. So I will be back as soon as this reaches 10 minutes, you guys. All right, everyone, so I'm back. I got everything situated. So I did go a couple of minutes over. I'm at 12 minutes, I let it stand. So right now, I'm going to hit cancel, just to turn the uh, instant pot off. Now I'm gonna move this a little bit closer away from my TV um, because as y'all can see, I got my TV mounted up here. I got a big, sorry about that you guys, <laughs> hit the button. But anyway, like I said, I got my TV mounted up here. Um, so right now I don't got my, uh, my, I don't got my internet on right now. I got a whole mobile hotspot in the truck. So anywho, so I moved it over so you can see right here. I'm going to release the, ooh. <laughs> I'm going to release the pressure valve now that I cut it off. So I'm going to turn it into the venting position. Literally, um, literally releasing the seam as you guys can see. So I, I do that because there's a little bar right here. And y'all can see that right here. It rises up when it's releasing the pressure. And when it's done releasing the pressure, it actually um, drops down. I'm trying to get back right here. Sorry, you guys. Sorry for all the moving. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so I'm still letting it, you know, in the meantime, in between time, get your steam off my screen. I didn't move it out far enough, obviously. It's all right. I set that right there. So. Oh, okay. I thought somebody was calling me. I'm like, really? During the feed? <laughs> Come on with it. Come on with it. Everything's smelling good. Uh, you guys, I don't know if I'm going to get back into making my videos. I know these videos are long. I know I talk. I know I talk about this, talk about that, I joke, whatever the situation may be. But, you know, like I said, I'm doing this video specifically and only for keeping 100 checking. Just because she was like, we need you back on the YouTube scene. We miss your cooking videos and... I'm doing this for you, Pinky, okay? Only you. I've had plenty ask me to get back on YouTube, girl, but I'm doing it only for you. So, I hope y'all enjoy this video, and I'm just showing y'all, you know, you know, a little, a little shaking back, a little going on. So, it's still, <laughs> normally doesn't take this long, I promise. But I think because I let it sit an extra 10, 12 minutes, it just built up, it has a lot of built up pressure in here, so... It should be almost done, and that pan should drop here any second. Got me up here waiting. Isn't these cute right here? You guys, I get all my little kitchen gadgets, all my little appliances. Uh, appliances. I get all my little kitchen gadgets and stuff like this at the Dollar Tree or Walmart. Uh, Walmart usually have these fairly cheap. Like I think I spent like a dollar and some change for this, which isn't bad. Um, so I really just like picking up and you know collecting these cute little tongs, and then it got a little, it got a little bar right here, so it always stay closed, um, which is good, you know. So when I store it in my little box up top, everything is not in the way. Come on, come on with it. Okay, I got to go to bed. I got to drive tonight. I got to head to North Carolina. Okay, y'all. All right, so now that all the steam has released, you got to be careful, people, because you got to let the steam release first, because if you don't, and you try to open it, this thing literally can just, boom, explode in your face. It's not good. So now I got the steam out of here. I'm going to go ahead and unlock the, I'm going to go ahead and unlock the lid. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. So I'm gonna just set this to the side over here. All right, you guys. So right now, I know y'all can see the top of this, but this is how it's looking with the bra and the carrots and the celery and look at this chicken. Ooh, ooh. All right, people, all right. Let me turn this chicken over. All right, all right, all right, all right. Mm. Smelling good, smelling good. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the chicken out of here. And hold on, you guys, let me set myself back up over here so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Right, right. Oh, okay, wait a minute now. It's falling apart. Give me a second. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't know the chicken is gonna be this tender, you know, falling apart as I'm picking it up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's 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 gonna be some good chicken right there. I'm telling you. So literally, I'ma debone this chicken. Grab the carrot. Whoop. All right, you guys. So that's the last piece of chicken I got out here. Set it on my cutting board. All right. I forgot to grab me a paper plate, but it's all right. So I'm gonna just stir this up. Stir this up, stir this up, stir this up. Get to staring. Ooh, ooh. All right, everyone. So, what I'm going to do now is get started on the pasta, the noodles. So, what I'm going to do is hit the saute feature. And I'm going to keep it at 12 minutes. 12 minutes is my ideal cook time. Um, actually, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got pasta. I'm doing it different now. Cook less than that. So I'm going to keep it saute on high. And then I'm going to cut the, I'm going to cut it down to about eight minutes. And so what I'm going to do is add my pasta. I got these cute little cups from the Dollar Tree. Came three of them in a dollar. So, I said three of them. Three of them in a pack for a dollar. <laughs> so, I'm going to put three of those in there. And I'm going to just stir this up. I'm going to leave the lid off. I'm ooh, it's hot. I'm going to leave the lid off. I'm not going to put the lid on. Just simply because I am going to add the chicken back in here. But I am going to leave it on the saute function for those eight minutes. You know, I'm going to just do 10. Just give me a little time here, you know. So while that pasta is cooking, you guys, I'm going to just keep it on that saute mode. Obviously, I'm going to stir this up and let this cook here. And while this is cooking all together, I'm going to add my chicken after I debone it and everything. So I'm going to give y'all a... A look of how it's looking so far you guys see that so it's looking pretty good so far it's smelling good can't wait to taste it I hope it tastes good <laughs> all right you guys so let me go ahead and get started on this chicken and I will be right back with you all all right everyone so I'm back um, I got the chicken peel. The noodles are done. You guys, let me give it one good stir. One good stir. You know, stir around, stir in all this loving over here that I did. You know, you know, a little something, something. So what I'm about to do is I should have did this while the noodles was cooking. Add in some rosemary. Um, these are just the last little spices that I didn't use. Oops. Add in some thyme.
And last but not least, my favorite parsley. And add in some parsley leaves, baby. Woohoo! See, it's looking, 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 looking. Looking, looking, looking. I mean, looking mighty good. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, I like a lot of garnish, as people would call it, in my soup. It just gives it a little flavor, gives it a little color, gives it a little spunk. Everything's done, as you can see, the chicken, the carrots, the um, celery. Everything cooked at perfect, you guys. Everything cooked so perfect. So, um, I guess I did it. <laughs> but I'm going to pour me up a bowl real quick, and I'm going to just show you guys the end product. So, I will be right back. All right, you guys. So, this is the finished product. So I got my instant pot homemade. You know, you know, you know. Oh, chicken noodle soup. Cause this girl did that. It's a cold day outside, raining. So you know, I figure I do something. You know, fulfilling. It is hot, so I ain't gonna be holding this bowl too long. But you guys, it was a simple meal. I was done under an hour. Really, yeah, under an hour, honestly. So, um. You guys, please invest in one of these Instant Pots because it works for me on the truck, so I'm pretty sure it'll work for you. But once again, I don't want my camera to steam up if it's steaming right there. But you guys, this is the finished product. And yes, so I'm going to go ahead and enjoy and try to go get my rest in and hit the road tonight. So I will talk to you guys later. You guys stay safe out there. Be careful and see you soon.